Danny Escobedo is best known for the 1964 Supreme Court decision that an accused person must be advised of his right to legal counsel before being questioned by police. That decision reversed a murder conviction against Escobedo, but it didn't end his troubles with the law. In 1968, he was sentenced to 22 years in prison for selling drugs. But since then, he has found a new means for expression. Ike Pappas reports from Marion, Illinois. In his lifetime, Danny Escobedo has been a high school dropout, a convicted murderer, symbol of a landmark legal principle, and a narcotics pusher. Life has not been easy for Escobedo, who has spent a good part of it behind bars. This, too, is Danny Escobedo, an artist now. He has spent much of his prison time painting, an exhibit of Escobedo's works recently opened in Chicago to some critical praise. Escobedo has no one style. He paints according to his mood. When a recent appeal was denied, he became depressed and turned to dark tones and morbid themes. After a happy visit from a relative, he used bright colors to reflect his feelings. Most of the paintings are for sale, $25 for this Indian princess, $7,500 for this intricate Aztec calendar. Escobedo is now 37 years old. He is serving a 22-year sentence for selling narcotics and feels he has had enough notoriety for one lifetime. For this reason, he would not reveal his face to the camera while discussing his paintings. He talked about one of his most striking works, Wailing Wall, done in 1972. It reminds me a lot of prison life here. A man wants freedom, and when he tries to make his go for it, uh, there's always something that's hindering its way, you know. What would you want uh, your art, you know, eventually to say or to, to mean to people? What mostly all prisoners feel, that they, they are human. We're not forgotten men, although the door is closed behind us and some don't have any visits coming to see them or letters coming. There's still the fact that they are human and somebody should care. Escobedo says he often thinks about his life, what it might be like today had he discovered his talent years ago. Ike Pappas, CBS News, Marion, Illinois. That's the news this Monday night. I'm Roger Mudd, CBS News. Good night.